It's May the 4th, and that means all things Star Wars are out in full effect today. We here at Robitech wouldn't dare miss it. And oh, and the best thing? Someone watching this video may walk away with our awesome build. I love May the 4th. Some of the coolest Star Wars celebrations across all matters of media. From Lego to cakes, people make some awesome creations to celebrate this beloved franchise. Last year, we didn't get a chance to participate. To be honest, last year was kind of weird. With human malware in full effect and most of us huddled up in our caves, sheltering from the COVID tauntaun. So this year, when Seagate and Newegg gave me the chance to participate, to relive the regale days of the Kylo Ren build, I knew we had to do something different to help us make a bit of a blast. Like a, like a thermal detonator blast on the planet of Tatooine. It could be seen for miles. I also knew I didn't want to do it alone. I mean, everything is better with friends, right? So I enlisted the help of my good friend Ron Christensen, aka Blue Horse Studios, to help make something that people who love Star Wars would really love to have in their collection. So with him tasked on coming up with a theme, I went to work on planning the build. What could be a great all around PC that would not only look good, though looking good does increase performance, but also chew those games up like a Rencor with a Gamorrean guard at Jabba's palace. So after at least one gallon of blue milk, and then a few hours regretting drinking a gallon of blue milk, I came up with an Intel 12700K. It's an awesome gaming CPU and one of the best value gaming slash all around CPUs out right now. Given it's a K model, we had to use a Z690 motherboard and to sure people could actually overclock it, I paired it with a 360 millimeter AIL. Okay, good, good, good so far. Good, Roby. For GPU, we did the RTX 3070 Ti, which should be more than sufficient and make anyone winning this PC happy. And of course, Seagate came in clutch with three terabytes of NVMe storage care of their Seagate Fire CUDA 530 NVMe drives, only the fastest and best endurance drives on the galactic market. These things could do the Kessel Run in 10 parsecs. Sorry, Han. Wow, Roby, that's not a moon, that's a space station worth of PC power. <laughs> yes, but unlike a Death Star, this fits nicely on your desk. So I had a build or the framework of one, but to settle on the parts, I needed a theme. So I called Ron, I, oh, okay, I, I texted Ron, and that's when he showed me his plan. Bo-Katan. Most of you know Bo-Katan, many of you probably don't, from the most recent escapades in The Mandalorian. But a quick recap, thanks to Wikipedia, yes, that's a thing, Bo-Katan is a member of the Death Watch. It's a terrorist faction of Mandalorians who wish to restore the ancient warrior way of their planet, Mandalore. She is also the sister of her Duchess Satine, the pacifist ruler of the time in Mandalore, from whom she is estranged due to various differences in their personal politics, aka she likes to fight. She she later allies herself with former Jedi Ahsoka Tanu and the Galactic Republic in liberating Mandalore from Darth Maul. So blue and white and silver, aka Bo-Katan. We now had everything we needed and it's time not only to build but also to unveil the Robitech Newegg Seagate Bo-Katan May the 4th build. Okay, so the build, I think you would see, looks fantastic. For those of you tuned into the live stream, 
Thank you so much. It was awesome to get to build it live. And if you want to check that out, you can watch that video right here. So let's talk some quick bits about performance. So if you get this awesome PC, you want to know how it performs with the 12700K and the 3070 Ti, which there's a link in the Gleam link down below. So if you want to basically win it, check out in the description. Now here's the kind of performance you're gonna see. For instance, Cyberpunk 2077 at Ultra at 1440p with DLSS on performance, you'll see about 108 frames per second. For Shadow of the Tomb Raider, also at 1440p with DLSS set to performance, 219 frames per second. What about Metro Exodus? 1440p Ultra with DLSS set to performance, 81.13 frames per second. But how about MP, Roby? Well, we're gonna give some MP love, again, at 1440p, maximizing for frame rate and customized for competitive gaming, which means low visual settings with some slight changes. So Apex Legends, you're looking at a nice and comfortable 245.6 frames per second. For Call of Duty, tromping around the map and headshotting some folks, you're gonna get 223.3 frames per second. And finally, for a little Fortnite, because hey, there's lightsabers right now to celebrate May the 4th, a buttery smooth 407.9 frames per second. Finally, and because we got to play at least one Star Wars game on this May the 4th themed build, for Jedi Fallen Order with max settings and all the bells and whistles, we're sitting at a frame rate of 131 FPS. I love that game, and I also love that frame rate. Oh, and for temps, this isn't Tatooine. Our CPU under load was sitting at a nice and moderate 66, and for GPU under load, a warm but healthy 75. So that's it, folks. Now it's done, and it's up to you to win this beautiful and powerful Beast of a May the 4th build. All you gotta do is pop down and enter the Gleam down in the description below. Now while you're down there, you can also win a little extra dough that maybe you can help use for a game for this new rig. Well, how? Well, first, hit that like and subscribe button, then leave a quality comment down below with, along with liking and subscribing to the channel. Now, when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive. It just needs to be something you liked or didn't like about our build, the video. It doesn't matter. Just, it can't be, I deserve to win. Can I has a free PC or something less similarly lame? You also need to ensure we have a way to reach you via your YouTube profile, like your email. So put your email on your YouTube profile because unlike all that spam lame stuff that you're seeing in the comments, the only way we notify you is via email. Now we will be giving away $25 to one lucky comment below. That is worldwide as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. Now did you like the build? Did you like the design? What do you think about bo -Katan? Do you like the way that we made it all glimmer and come together? I'd love to know all of that and more down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you know that we have a live stream channel for special builds and events like when we built this PC? Well, check out Robitech Live down in the description below so you can like and subscribe to know when we go live as well. Have questions about this build or customization or any other tech-related questions? Then check out our amazing Discord server filled with other tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. Are you looking for cheap tech? Then check out at Robitech Deals or at Robitech Deals on Twitter where you can have our guy Tom scouring the internet for the best deals on all things tech, video games, PCs, components, etc. Finally, you can follow me and all my team on all the other socials at Robitech absolutely everywhere. We hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.